Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Life Ren, and today and tomorrow I'll be doing a mini juice slash tea slash water cleanse. Um, it's not uh, hardcore or anything by all means, and I don't exactly know which ingredients. I'm just gonna shove them into my little personal blender that was gifted to me from noblebeautyplus.com. I've been so happy with using this thing because it's so convenient. And anyway, um, after my eight day stretch, I just need something else to go ahead and pick me up and I wanna see if the juice cleanse really will help out. I mean, I know proper diet, exercise, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm just a little bit curious about this, aren't you guys? Um, I also wanna see how the effects are on the skin. I've been breaking out like crazy, as you can see. And um, I don't actually feel up to par with how I normally do. So um, I wanted to see how it does with the bloating and this is me right now. Um, I'm not sucking anything in or whatever, but you guys see I'm a little bit, yeah. That's that. I'll be documenting my journey and running errands, doing homework and doing all the works involved. Yeah, juicing, so stay tuned. So I went to uh, Juice Co. What is this place called? Juice Co. LG. Juice Co. LG. Okay. I have a super sweetheart of uh, the person who is helping me over there, and she recommended that since this is my first juice of the day, I need something more filling. So this one is the PO1. <laughs> PO1. This is by all means not advertised or sponsored or anything. So I just want to give that as a little disclosure. I ended up getting G02 as well, which has. Oh, thank you, that's on the tag. <laughs> so G02 contains kiwi, cucumber, spinach, celery, and kale. And then I grabbed a couple more bottles of this G01 here. So the G01 has cucumber, spinach, apple, lemon, and ginger. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna be combining this with my own juice at home. So yeah, we'll see how this tastes first. I actually wanna try this. One moment. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good. Lovely music in the background too. Let's go to our next stop, shall we? So this is my next stop. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself some fresh produce. I feel much better after um, grabbing a little, a couple of sips from the uh, protein juice that I had earlier that the girl recommended. Um, and I grabbed myself some jasmine tea. So that definitely helped me a lot with feeling dizzy. I think the whole thing with feeling dizzy so early in the game is the fact that I didn't eat last night and I barely even had like fries for lunch yesterday as well as like I did an eight day stretch. So my body's just like completely tired. So I don't know if that's like the best time to do a juice, but a uh, juice cleanse but I'm doing it anyway, trying to push my body to see how well it tolerates it. Uh, the lady behind the counter was telling me how she does like a six day cleanse every so often. And yeah, you're gonna feel a little bit dizzy here and there, but that's because like your body is not really taking anything in except for water and juice and tea. But she did tell me go ahead and drink more water than usual or try to remind myself to because um, she's even gone to the point of like saying how some people who juice don't have energy to like take a sip of their water or their their like cup or you know whatever it is like it's crazy I was like what do you mean she goes use a straw and I go uh, do you really get that weak from juicing to a point of like you can't lift up your cup like how heavy is your cup so anyway I hope it doesn't happen to me I doubt it will but I mean um, like less than half a day of not really eating and then waking up this morning starting the juice cleanse has not given me the best <laughs> foundation for this whole thing, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go grab some apples, some pineapples. Um, yeah, 
and I'll show you guys later when I make my juice anyway. So it's now 12.30 and uh, I am not feeling hungry, uh, no longer feeling dizzy, so we'll see how it goes. I just got back home from Target and from Whole Foods and just kind of like running errands um, throughout the morning and early afternoon. Anyway, I am kind of hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my um, protein juice from earlier. So freaking hungry right now. And I was so tempted to get myself a classic coffee cake, but I did not. Um, <laughs> I also wanted to go in and just grab a whole bunch of like the chocolate, because I mean, it's the holidays, right? And they just have such good um, holiday chocolate out there and you just want to sit home and have yourself a hot cup of cocoa with some marshmallows and pop yourself some popcorn and just like chill with it but I'm juicing so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, so it's now 16.10 or 4.10 p.m. Um, and this is my second cup of water. This is actually a 750 ml um, jug. I, I drank about half of it earlier this morning when I woke up. This is my second half right now. Um, truthfully speaking, I feel kind of like weak. I just went up and down to go do my laundry and I carried the load by myself, uh, of course, as anybody would, right? But even that, it's weird. It's just like, I just feel like I have like no energy. I'm just tired, you know? And again, I don't know if that's because of the eight day stretch or whatever, but I'm not really liking this juice thing. I don't know if I'll survive, honestly. I might have to cut it down from 48 to 24 hours, but we'll see. I'll try to push through for those 24 hours. It might just be the brain like playing tricks on me. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's just because I'm not like chewing on something. And so my brain is like, you're hungry, but then I'm so full with like liquids and yeah, I don't know. Awesome. So Alright guys, so guess what? My mom Z came up to come visit me and it's a special surprise that we, we went ahead and uh, grabbed some tickets to the movie theater. We're going to go ahead and watch Jumanji, but I unfortunately can't eat because I'm doing this stupid two-day cleanse thing and I just ended up bringing one of these juice things. So we'll see how that works out with all the temptation of the popcorn and the chocolate and whatever. What, uh, it's a fancy like movie theater here in Campbell, so um, I'll get my mom something of course, but for me, no. <laughs> all right, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is now 21.15. I'm about to go to sleep soon, just kind of winding down and my mom visited, like I said earlier, um, and she's here to spend the night. So basically at the movies, she had this wonderful meal um, that was like chicken shawarma <laughs> and uh, well, I had some matcha tea. So there you have it. Uh, basically completes my first day of this whole juicing tea, no solid food type deal. and. Uh, it was a little bit tough because um, of all the good food around me and the sweets around me, but it's okay. Again, it's only a couple days, so tomorrow will be the day. Um, as far as how I'm feeling, I'm not really that hungry. The tea really satiates me. Is that a word? Yeah, I think it is a word, right? Satisfies me, yes. So I'll let you know how tomorrow goes. We're going to go to church and everything. Um, have a good night. Good morning, guys. I'm here with my mom Z having breakfast right now. This is my breakfast, and this is her beautiful breakfast. So before my phone falls into this. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys how this thing is done. There's ice. Oh. I'm amazing, my mom. Look at this. I'll update you guys on what happened last night. I was, I kept having to go pee like crazy and I couldn't really fall asleep. Um, you know that feeling where it's like you try to hold <laughs> your pee in but you can't. So I must have woken up a good seven times last night just to go pee. Um, I don't feel like truly really tired per se or hungry, but um, I'm just tired of going pee. <laughs> so let's have breakfast and I'll update you guys later. Come on to church.
Alright, so we are on our way to the San Francisco outlets. It's kind of deceiving because it's supposed to be Livermore outlets. But um, if I have to try anything on later, In I'll show you guys how my building went down from onto El the almost, almost all road. Road. two days of doing the no solids juicing slash tea deal. Um, I'm pretty much halfway through my matcha tea right now. And like I said earlier, it wasn't too bad. Um, I just want to enjoy this time with my mom to like eat, you know, the, all the junk food and good stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll try on a pair of pants. But yeah, my, my bloating has definitely gone down. I feel almost the same. That's going to be the truth. I don't really feel like extremely energized or anything. Um, but yeah, it's totally doable. I'm gonna cut it off maybe a good six hours short. I'm not supposed to, and I'm exiting the wrong exit because that's <laughs> busy. So yeah, I'll get back to you because I need to find directions. Bye. So it's now 12.30, and this is gonna be my first solid meal, I guess, and it's a donut. So not the best thing, but it'll do. Hey guys, that pretty much sums up my attempt at the two-day juice cleanse challenge. I wasn't that su su successful because I cut it short to about 18 hours, but it's still pretty good, right? Have any of y'all done that before? Done this juice cleanse challenge thing? Maybe you guys have tips, recommendations for me the next time. Anywho, this is my post gut after I ate my first meal of some soup. I ate that donut and plastic coffee cake, so this is me without sucking it in. This is me sucking it in. Not sucking it in. So... Not much of a difference, I do feel a little bit lighter. I think the biggest thing was me trying not to think about food and thinking about what type of food I should blend up. In which I think the beginning juicer should either have a plan or they should just buy a whole bunch of juice and follow it up with a whole bunch of water afterwards. So that is my take on the two day cleanse or juice cleanse. And let me know. Thanks, bye.